Hi students, the next aspect in business ethics is the principles of ethics. Principles of ethics, there are four important principles or four important rules of ethics. Number one is principle of publicity, number two is principle of equal and price, number three is principle of consigns, number four is principle of service motive. Okay, what is principle of publicity? Publicity is the business. The objective of the business must be publicized, must be made known to the society and to the public. What is the basic objective? What is the motive of the business? That is to be publicized. That is principle of publicity. Next one is principle of equivalent price. Equivalent price is the quality of the goods. That the company or the organization or the business must not sell inferior goods at a high price and the quality of the goods must be good. That is the principle of equivalent price. Next one is principle of consigns. Consigns is the capacity to judge, taking decisions. That is the businessman, they must have the capacity to judge what is right and what is wrong. Next one is principle of service spirit. That is the business must have service motive. They must serve the public. Besides earning profit, they must extend their service motive or their hands to the public. That is principle of service spirit. So from the above four principles, we can come to an idea that the business must have the following principles in their mind. Number one is avoiding the exploitation of the consumers. Next, avoid profiteering. Profiteering is hoarding, black marketing, selling inferior goods or harmful products. That is called as profiteering. Next, proper payment of tax. Next, encouraging healthy competition with the competitors. Next, ensures accuracy in weights and in the products. Next, not getting any bribes, not, not indulging in any activity which involves in corruption. Next, the gets the account auditor every year. Next, fair treatment or a proper treatment to the employees. Next one, keep the investors informed about the financial results every year. Next, avoid injustice and discrimination. Next, avoid monopoly. Next, last one is accept social responsibility. These are the principles of business ethics or rules of business ethics. Next important aspect in business ethics is elements of business ethics. What are the various elements which constitute business ethics? To run a business, et business ethically, what are the elements are the Number one is vision or mission. Vision or mission, these are the statements which describes what the business to be wants to be in future. That is like an objective the vision, the future of the business, what the business must become in future, that is vision or mission. Next one, values. Values are the moral beliefs held by an individual, organization and society, that is called as values. Next one is rights. Rights is the claim made by the individual or an ind organization against the other party, the right they are having. Next one is the duty. It is the obligation of a person or an organization. That is duty. That they, it is like a, their responsibility. Next one is moral rules. Moral rules, they act as the guide when there are disagreements or confusions. Moral rules are simply the rules and regulations based on morality. Next one is morality. That is set of moral rules governing the ethical problems. These are the set of moral rules that is called as morality, which, which will be explained later in the next PPT in detail what is morality. Next one is business policy. Policy is a guide for taking decisions in the business. It should be... <coughs> in the minds of the employees, the policies of the business. They should be derived after determining the core value of the organization. Next one is the code of conduct or code of ethics. It is a set of rules outlining the norms, role and responsibility for an individual or organization. It is framed in a separate document and contains what the company expects from the stakeholders. 
these are the elements of business ethics next one is the three c's of business ethics the three c's of business ethics were compliance contribution consequences compliance is accomplishment of the rules and regulations contribution is the business what it contributes to the society because of the business how the business helps the society how the what the business contributes to the society what are the values what are the products how it gives employment opportunities that is a contribution next one is the consequences the results achieved from the business that is called as consequences that is the profit or loss the social responsibility the goodwill that is the consequences of business ethics these are the three c's of business ethics the next important aspect in business ethics is the types of business ethics what are the types number one is personal ethics that is person an individual in the individual capacity what are the ethics he is following that is personal ethics that is official ethics in the position of an officer what are the ethics to be followed that is official ethics next corporate ethics as an organization what are the ethics to be followed that is corporate ethics work ethics that is organizational loyalty followed by a employee next personal loyalties personal loyalty is you are loyal to a manager that is personal loyalty if you are loyal to the office or the business or the organization that is work ethics if you are loyal to a particular person or a particular superior then it is personal loyalty then next one is economic ethics that is a social responsibility an individual is having it is called as economic ethics like environment protection like that next technical ethics technical ethics is how you are ethical how you are dealing with the confidential matters like that it is technical ethics next one is legal ethics how you are ethical towards the law next professional ethics how you are ethical to the profession you are doing these are the various types of ethics next one is sources of business ethics from where the ethics arise from how an individual is ethical what are the sources there is number one is the religion religion is preaching you certain things from that religion you are getting some ethical awareness that is a religion next cultural experience from which area you are brought up in which culture you are brought up that gives you lot of ethical and moral values that is cultural experience then the legal systems what are the legal system the rules the regulations given by the society from that you you will have some ethical principles or moral values that is legal systems next one is family influence because of your family you are elders your parents your grandparents you will get some moral values that is family influence next peer influence because of your friends the person who are in the same age group you will be cult cultivated with certain moral values that is peer influence next the past experiences because of the experiences you had in your life based on that you will have some moral values in your mind that is past experience then the circumstances because of the circumstances or situation you will be reacting to certain things then it is the source of business ethics these are the various sources of business ethics next one is factors governing business ethics what are the various factors influencing the business ethics why you are ethical what are the factors govern a business to be ethical now first one is the value forming institutions that is the family the school from where you have studied from where the manager has studied based on that the uh, ethics will arise next on the organizational goals what it is preaching then superiors how you are superior whether he is very strict you will do the work properly if he is very lenient you won't do it properly that is the superiors next the peers and colleagues how your peers are doing based on that you will do the certain things how your colleagues are behaving based on that you will be ethical or non ethical next the professional code next one is the individual approach to ethics each and every individual they will have some approach based on that the ethics will be formed next introduction of law next last one is the social pressure or the societal pressure these are the various factors governing business ethics the various important question in case of this chapter is the principles of ethics the sources of business ethics and the three c's of business ethics
this is regarding the part 2 of business ethics chapter if you are interested in my videos you can subscribe my channel by pressing the bell icon in the channel next if you are interested you can share my videos give your valuable comment and like my videos thank you